Speaker Mike Johnson made a real fool of himself today when he answered a reporter's question about Donald Trump's criminal trial. Republicans love to lecture the rest of us about morals and how virtuous they are. But when it comes to Donald Trump, they are full of excuses. That's where amazing reporters like Manu Raju from CNN come in and make sure to hold these hypocrites accountable. I'll show you in a moment how Manu Raju laid out a beautiful trap for the Republican leader to step right into. And boy, did he ever fall for it. Much to my delight, this has been a rough month for the Republican Party. They've worked overtime trying to make excuses for Donald Trump's behavior. Thanks to brave prosecutors like Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg and his team, the world now knows all the details of how Donald Trump cheated on his wife and then illegally hid the story from the American people before the 2016 election. We saw many buffoons show up to Trump's criminal trial and embarrass themselves. But nobody's presence has been more impactful than Speaker Mike Johnson. And that's because he's the highest ranking elected Republican in the country. He's second in line to the presidency. The Speaker of the House shouldn't be anywhere near a criminal trial, so he doesn't undermine our justice system. And he definitely shouldn't be saying things like this outside the courthouse. The crime that they are accusing President Trump of is falsification of business records. But I think everybody knows he is not the bookkeeper for his company. President Trump is innocent of these charges. But what about his personal beliefs? Mike Johnson claims to be an extremely spiritual man who is guided by the Bible. And yet here he is supporting Donald Trump, a man who could be considered the exact opposite of the person Mike Johnson claims to be. So Manu Raju from CNN decided to challenge Speaker Johnson and ask him what he thinks about the personal behavior of Donald Trump that has been laid out during this case. Forget whether or not you think he's guilty. As a Christian, what do you think about his personal behavior? Watch this. Money. You've been very clear about your disdain for the hush money case, but what about the underlying alleged conduct of paying off a porn star to keep this extramarital affair allegedly quiet? You're a deeply religious man, a moral man. Does that alleged conduct cause you any concern about the former president's character? I, look, I'm not gonna, I'm not going to comment on that. What we've what we've said about what's happening in in Manhattan is uh, I've called it a disgrace because it is. It's clearly lawfare. They're clearly going after President Trump because of who he is. Because he is a you know he'll soon to be officially the nominee of the Republican Party for president of the United States. They've had him tied up for weeks in a courthouse when he should be out have the ability to speak freely in the campaign uh, and to be around the country. Um, this, this is clearly by design. These prosecutors in these various locations are clearly have coordinated with the, the Department of Justice in Washington. Everybody knows what's going on. Everybody. If you look at this objectively, there's no way to, to uh, look at this in any other way. The case is patently absurd. You've had every, every legal analyst uh, across the board acknowledge as much. Um, it, needs to, uh, it, it needs to be handled quickly, and I, I hope that he will be fully acquitted there and we can move forward. But it, it, the, the damage has been done. They're doing real damage to our system of justice itself. And you've heard me say many times, that's my greatest concern. If the people in a constitutional republic do not trust that, that justice is, is fair and that you have equal justice under the law, then we lose a very important element of what it what it is required to maintain a republic like ours. And so we've got a lot of, a lot of repair work to do, I think, to the institution itself and to our system of justice after this madness. So with that, we'll leave you. Thanks so much. Do you have any reaction to these Americans? What a coward. Where are Mike Johnson's principles? I'd actually have a pinch of respect for Speaker Johnson if he could bring himself to condemn Donald Trump's behavior. How hard would it be to say that you disagree with how Donald Trump conducted himself, but you're still going to support him for whatever reason? And then to go on and state obvious lies about how the Department of Justice is working with local prosecutors to attack Trump is just absurd. The only people damaging our justice system are the Republican Party. They are solely responsible for the public losing trust in these institutions because of the lies they spread. But people are getting tired of this act and are starting to see through the Republican Party's shenanigans. Opportunists like Mike Johnson claim to be deeply religious, but then prove to the world that they are just hypocrites by supporting terrible people like Donald Trump. Kudos to great reporters like Manu Raju for continuing to hold these frauds accountable.